Good afternoon. An accused killer's attorney wants to make sure his client gets the fairest trial possible. Today, the attorney for a man accused of killing a Lexington gas station clerk asked the judge for the ability to see emails the prosecution had been sending. Police say that Travis Bredholt shot Mike Patel in December of 2013 during a robbery at the Marathon Station on Alexandria Drive. Our Michelle Chamberlain was in the courtroom today for the hearing, and she tells us what the judge had to say in our top story at 5:30. Travis Bredholt appeared in circuit court today as lawyers fought over the transparency of emails involved in his death penalty case. We communicate by email, which is the way that communications are done in this century. At today's hearing, the Commonwealth Attorney's Office objected to the judge's order from a hearing last week that all email communications be discoverable, meaning that the full content of all emails pertaining to Brett Holt's case must be given to both sides of the case when requested. The emails at hand were communications between the Kentucky State Police Lab and the prosecutors. The defense wants the ability to see those emails. The judge denied the Commonwealth's objection, and all emails written to and received from the lab can be read and used during hearing preparations for this case. What we're doing is trying to make sure that Travis is getting the fairest trial possible and that his rights were all protected. Nothing shady or fishy went down, um, especially in a case where the Commonwealth is trying to kill Travis. His trial needs to be open and transparent, and all of his rights need to be protected. He needs to get all of his due process that he's entitled to. Travis Bredhold's next hearing is scheduled for October 9th. In Lexington, Michelle Chamberlain, WKYT. And the prosecutor in the case said she was concerned that today's ruling would impact future cases.